American troops are on the ground in Ukraine, where they are monitoring NATO arms deliveries to the country, an anonymous Pentagon official told several U.S. media outlets on Monday. It is unclear how many personnel are involved or where they are located. Speaking to the Associated Press, NBC News, and other members of the Pentagon press pool, the officials said that the contingent of troops is led by Brigadier General Garrick Harmon, the U.S. defense attache to Kyiv. There have been several of these inspections, the official told reporters, without revealing where the examinations have taken place. He added that the checks are not happening close to the front lines, but where security conditions allow. The U.S. inspected its arms shipments to Ukraine before Russia launched its military operation in February, but pulled its personnel out of the country days before it began. It is unclear how many troops have returned or when the checks restarted. The Pentagon official would only say that a small number of troops are involved. The U.S. State Department announced last week that it would allocate personnel to assist the government of Ukraine with handling of U.S. security assistance, although it did not mention that these personnel would be drawn from the ranks of the military. The plan was announced after media reports, citing U.S. intelligence agencies, claimed that Washington could not trace the weapons it sends to Ukraine. One intelligence source told CNN in April that these weapons disappear into a big black hole once they enter the country. The anonymous Pentagon official told journalists that Kiev has been transparent and has cooperated with inspectors thus far. While Americans have fought and died in Ukraine of their own accord, Monday's announcement marks the first time since February that Washington has acknowledged the presence of uniformed troops in Ukraine. Russian President Vladimir Putin has cautioned the U.S. and its NATO allies against getting involved in the conflict. And even before the announcement, he stated that the Kremlin views itself as fighting the entire Western military machine in Ukraine.